This is Heinz Sornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. With this video, we will demonstrate the S-Parameter module of Felicitas PCB Sim. Um, the S-Parameter module consists of two parts, one being the S-Parameter editor, and the second one is the S-Parameter simulation. We will start with the S-Parameter editor. Um, the ed editor is launched with this icon, which I'm doing right now. And now I'm loading a so-called touchstone file into it. Um, the S parameters describe a behavior of, of um, a component like a socket in the frequency domain. The S parameter editor transfers this frequency domain description of a device into a simulation model which can be used by FSPICE for time domain that is transient simulations. Um, for the um, description of the file, a so-called touchstone format is used. A touchstone format was um, originally defined by, I think, HP, Hewlett Packard, um, but it's now an industry standard. And a touchstone file is an ASCII file. I showed this here in a ASCII file an ASCII file which um, just describes the frequency points of interest and the response on each um, pin. So what we have here is an ASCII file of an SO DIMM socket with 20 pins and um, the first pin is an input P1 and the pin 11, interesting enough, is the corresponding output. So always pin 1 to 11, 2 to 12 and so on. So what the S parameter has is on the left hand side um, an information section um, with the rough overview over the file, file name, covered frequency and 2000 samples and this touchstone file has a reference impedance of 50 ohms. Then we have a matrix which allows us to select individual connections, for example 1 1 would be a reflection coefficient, 1 11 um, would be the, trans, um, the um, transmission from the input to the output pin. And of course 1 to 11, the green line here, has very low damping at low frequencies and the reflection has um, very low reflections at low frequencies. Now, in order to transfer the S-parameter model into a simulation model, um, I will first, for this demonstration, remove quite a number of pins from the model. This is because we don't need it for this demonstration and it would just take longer to compute. So the S-Parameter Editor allows to remove pins um, either as terminated, opened or shorted. This makes a slight difference for the remaining pins but for the time being, I remove them as terminated. That's it. Now we have only two pins left. We have one as an input pin, two as an output pin. And um, otherwise we have a very similar configuration as before. Now, in order to uh, make a simulation model out of it, I just have to transfer or to to convert the S parameters into Y parameters. This is very simply done by just pressing this button. Um, already done. So now I have Y parameters. And then I can, I can start a process which is called vector fitting. And um, for this I'm just choosing um, this, the number of poles which is more or less uh, a fitting effort and a fitting scheme, mostly absolute or relative. And then I press fit all connections and the S parameter does its job. Already done. So what it says now, it has a total fit error of 1.2, um, oh god, uh, 10 nano or something, so very low. We have not seen any changes here yet, but if I zoom in I can let the so-called vector fitted curve being displayed. The thin lines is the vector fitted curve, so the simulation model. 
and the dots are the original S parameter model um, data points from the touchstone file. So what we see here is that the model we have created fits very, very nicely to the original data. Now, um, this, this, um, we could already save now this little um, simulation model and use it later. What we, uh, what we should do, though, is checking the passiv passivity, um, which I'm doing right now. I'm switched here to the tab Passivity and checking this. Oh, okay, this is good enough. So the passivity means um, a connector should not generate power. But the vector fitting process, so the process of creating the simulation model, might be slightly uh, or might introduce slight deviations. This deviation might lead to a so-called active model, which is generating power. An active model could lead to ringing in the simulation or oscillation in the simulation. Usually, um, uh, 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 the passivity, if it is below approximately 500 micro, which we have here, is good enough and will not lead to any trouble. So negative values are active, but 160 micron is so little active that it will not play any role. So we have a very nice simulation model for our now two pin socket. And this model we can now just save as pole fitted model and use later in the simulation, which I will demonstrate in a moment.